Ladies and gentlemen, g'day, g'day, welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's Economics, mate, and I want to make a quick video addressing the things that have happened in the last 24, in the last, actually less than 24 hours, in the last 12 hours since I've uploaded that video about the allegations against Drudel's Blitz. Now, this video is not going to be focusing on that, it's going to be a bit different, but I'm going to be just talking briefly about this at the beginning. People seem to think that I have no say in this, as if it's not public knowledge, as if not everyone knows, as if we don't have freedom of speech on this platform to talk and voice our opinions, especially when it's concerning children, especially when it's concerning grooming children, or when we're talking in, in you know, sexually or stuff like that with children and whatnot. That's a huge allegation, and the evidence is there to prove that it happened, and I've seen the evidence, and people have sent me the evidence, right, and I've spoken to uh, to bat chat and 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 brief uh, and I haven't spoken yet to Meansy, but I, I'm hoping I'll get a chance to as well. You know, just to sort of get a better understanding from their point of view as well, especially with bat chat because he's he's dealt with, you know, he's been sort of friends with with the Drudels for a very very long time, right? I am more of an acquaintance than a friend of Drudels. I've made I've made a few videos with him. I've streamed with him. I've been on call with him many times. I've talked to him, talked with him on you know on on direct messages. I've moderated his stream. So I'm no stranger to him. It's not like I don't know him. I've never spoken to him before. Never done anything. No, I've done stuff with him many many times, right? And I, and I said in the video, if you guys actually, if the, the people that are complaining and saying these things against me, like just watch the video, listen to what I say. I'm making it very very clear. I'm not making this. For some kind of relevance or whatever i'm doing it because i want to voice my concerns i want to sh like basically put my two cents in and say hey listen this is not on this is and, and like who would have thought in a community like the blitz community right where a youtuber who doesn't have billions of subscribers but has like you know close to a hundred i think it was close to a hundred thousand or something subscribers i can't remember i haven't watched doodles in a while but like you get what I'm trying to say. It's like it's ridiculous. I can't believe it happened here. It happened in the Blitz community, for God's sake. You know, like, this is the sort of shit that happens on other platforms or on, 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 on with other streamers and stuff like that. Actually, let me rephrase that. It shouldn't happen regardless, but this is what's been happening lately in YouTube and on Twitch and whatever with all these massive streamers and all these influencers that have been caught grooming kids. So why the hell, of all the places, is it happening in Blitz? And, 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 like, it just boggles my mind. And the fact that people are out there saying, I don't have a right to speak about it. I shouldn't be voicing it if I'm not con if it doesn't concern me. It's like, who gives you the right to tell me not to do that? It's a free speech platform. I can speak whatever the hell I want to speak. And when it comes to kids and kids being harmed, and in, in this sort of way, I'm not keeping my fucking mouth shut. I'm going to talk and I'm going to say it the way it's supposed to be. Excuse my language, but honestly, it's ridiculous that we have some people that are standing up for him Or there's some people that say, oh, it's a, you're going on the bandwagon, you're, you're trying to... Uh... No, I'm not, in any way, shape or form I've said it multiple times in the video, okay? I don't care about the clout, I don't care about anything I used to make a lot of videos with Blitz I was quite, I guess, I'm not going to say I was quite popular But I was getting traction quite a while, many years ago when I was making content And I just stopped because I didn't want to make any more content. But now, you know, <laughs> I've come back to this. This is what I've come back to. Like, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I don't want to bore you. I don't want to keep talking about this. You know, I've made my point. I've said what I needed to say. Now let's get on to this video where we're talking about Blitz as a whole and what it is now. I want to sort of stick away from how to play the game and whatnot. And I want to stick with more talking about Blitz as a whole. And, and talking about how it's turned out. Blitz has been a part of my life for like eight, nine years. Believe it or not. Eight, nine, maybe even ten years since it's come out. I've been playing Blitz. I've been in the community constantly and I've been doing so much, you know, in terms of uh, research and, 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 and experience and learning about the tanks and talking to other people about the tanks. And then it's been about a year or so, almost two years now, I don't, haven't really been engaged in the game anymore because it's just got to the point where it's like, you know what, it's not worth playing anymore. I've got all these tanks, I've played all these years, I've got all these battles, I'm just, I'm no pro in any way, shape or form. But at the same time, it just gets boring, it gets repetitive. 
it, it, I, I go, I, I find myself leaning more towards playing PC games now and console games or just focusing on life and work. And work. You know? But the, the, the sort of dynamic of Blitz has changed quite a bit. The demographic is still there, and the player base is also changed a bit as well. But I think that the, the you know, it's a bit different now. It's different now. There's a lot more, like there's always been racism, there's always been drama, there's always been controversy, and there's always been kind of stuff, but it, it wasn't as bad as it is now. Like, I jump in a battle, and in not just a regular battle or a ratings battle, I'm jumping in like a fun mode, boss mode, or or uh, what do you call burning games, or mad games, or any of the gravity force, right? And yet, for some reason, there's players out there where if they die or they lose, they go off their absolute knockers at everyone else in the, in the team. You bloody moron, blah, 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 you know, F you, F this, B, you know, you're a B word, and this, that, and uh, I don't want to swear in my videos, but like, you get what I'm trying to say, you, you end this, end word that, end word this, and, and, and you're, you're a Chinese dog, and you're a Vietnamese dog, or you're an Arab terrorist, or uh, you're an Indian, whatever it may be, it's like, hold your horses, whoa, the game is not a place for you to express your racism towards players, nor is any place for that matter, you want to speak like that, just keep it to yourself, keep it to yourself, don't express it, and it's a, it's a fun mode, and even if it wasn't a fun mode, why would you talk like that, why would you address the team like that, you should keep your mouth shut, you shouldn't talk, don't say anything, of any, any way, shape or form, do not talk in that manner, that is the most disgusting thing you could possibly say. And yet there are people that believe that they have the right to say that, that they, they're able to say that, that they can go ahead and say whatever the hell they want to say, and they can get away with it. But they can't. They're not going to be able to. Right? Yeah, they'll get away with it in Blitz, but do that in real life and you won't be, you won't be able to get rid of it. So that is the, that is the, 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 the way Blitz is right now. And is a, one of the reasons why I've stayed away from the game, because of the toxicity that's in it. It was once a very enjoyable game. It was once a game where you jumped on and you played and you tried your best to get those tanks that you've always wanted. And now it's either a cash grab or just full of toxic idiots and people who are sore losers. And now we've got groomers with droodles and, you know, trying to s tell sexual content to kids. I don't know. This community is pretty... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I'm not going to say it's as a whole. Most of it is pretty good. But... It's the minority that's ruining it for everyone else. It really is. It's the minority that's ruining it for everyone else. And it's given Blitz a bad name. And it's, it's, given, it's, it's, it's making those guys that have been playing Blitz for such a long time, all the veterans like myself and some other people, it's like, yeah, well, we're not going to play this anymore. It's like this. Why should we play a game like this where there's people that are this toxic, or there's people that are this racist, or discriminatory, or rude, right? Or people that are, that are expressing themselves in a very disgusting manner, or exposing children to disgusting content, and, and, and speaking the way they speak. There's no point. Why, why should we play the game then? If this is how it is, and, and, and we don't see any changes, I don't see Wargaming doing anything, to fix these issues. Like, I, I mean, they addressed the rules issue. They made an announcement in the Discord server. But it wasn't really much of an announcement, was it? They didn't even tag everyone. They didn't even tag... They didn't even put at here or at everyone. They just wrote an announcement without notifying anyone. And... That's it. That was all I could see. They just removed the event for Droodles that had Droodles' as avatar and whatnot, and just ag ag addressed the allegations, and, and that was it. What about all the toxics, the toxicity in the game, and all that all kind of stuff? Like, are they going to address that? Are they going to do anything for that? I don't know. But that's just my opinions on Blitz at the moment. Who knows? I might come back and make more videos and talk about certain things and. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. You guys are awesome. Bunch of bloody legends. Thank you for all the support over the years and um, for the years to come. And don't forget to support Backchat, Lindsay, and all the rest of the guys that have been affected and all, all the victims.
that have been evicted, uh, affected by uh, good old Fern Doodles, but it's, what a great guy that he's turned out to be. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace in the Middle East, and I'll catch you guys later.